Good evening Hackology and welcome to another episode. In tonight's video we're going to be looking at removing applications from a rooted Android device. Um, why are we going to be looking at this? <clears throat> well basically I was helping a friend root his Android tablet and I just looked at my phone and uh, I've had it for about two, two, three years now and uh, thought I might as well root my own because it's sat there doing nothing and I can do some pretty cool stuff when it's rooted. So uh, anyway uh, I'm not going to go over routing devices or anything on the show. If you want to do that, you should check out XDA. Um, they offer lots and lots of help in the forums if there's not posts about your phone or your tablet or your slate or whatever already. Okay, <clears throat> enough about that. Um, Coded Ninja actually wrote a tutorial after he'd done his slate. So if you've got the same model as his slate, I'll leave a link in the video to his tutorial because it's pretty cool. Um, and also, um, what are you going to need for this tutorial? Well, you're going to need an Android device, you're going to need a PC, and you're also going to need a USB cable. Um, you'll be able to do this on Linux, Mac, and Windows, I believe, because um, Eclipse runs on all platforms, and the SDK is also available for them, I think. I'm not 100% sure about the Mac, but uh, yeah, in fact it is. Um, right, okay. Um, what is... Uh, routing, well, like I said, we're not covering it tonight in this video, but routing uh, basically gives you super user privileges, which gives you access to different parts of the phone that you wouldn't normally get. Um, so you can change things that you're not supposed to change. Like basically, there are pre installed applications uh, that come with these phones that you might not necessarily want and that are just cluttering up and taking up space on the phone and slowing it down. Um, so you might want to remove these. Now, Right, we're going to get the um, screen capture sorted, but what you'll need to do um, prior to this video is go grab a copy of the Android SDK, install it, follow all the instructions um, as per Google's web pages, and use your uh, Google Jedi skills to find out how to do that. Um, make a list of the apps on the phone that you want to remove or you want to have a look at removing. Try and remove one that you know isn't going to mess the phone up too much first um, if you're thinking about removing things like the contact manager or the messaging system or stuff I wouldn't advise that I would advise you moving the bloatware and freeware and crapware that comes with your phone um, okay so uh, what you're going to need to do is connect the phone and make sure um, debugging is enabled and allow uh, applications from external sources this will allow the Android SDK to connect to your phone and be able to talk to it. Okay, so I'm pretty fed up of getting screen capture trying to work on Mint. I don't know what's going on. It's not working. So I'm just going to talk you through this one. I'll uh, put copies of all the commands at the bottom of the video so you can copy and paste them. I'll also include a link to the scripts to mount and uh, unmount your um, system folders as read only and read write. So, what you'll need to do is install the Android SDK, you can get that from Google. Um, just Google Android SDK, it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Connect your phone, make sure debugging is enabled and allow applications from external sources. Uh, this will allow ADB to communicate with your phone. Open a terminal window and type sudo, log in as super user, locate the SDK directory and change into it and then change into the subdirectory under there called platform tools and execute the command dot forward stroke adb space devices this will tell you whether your android device has been detected by adb um, if it's there brilliant we can continue if it's not you'll need to go and consult google how to connect your device so after you've done that you can execute um, ADB space shell space LS forward stroke system forward stroke app and that will list all the system um, system applications installed under the system folder now these at the moment are read only so you're going to need to run the following command to make your system files writable 
and the command is mount space dash o space remount comma rw no spaces in between the comma and the rw dash t yaf sw space forward stroke dev forward stroke block forward stroke mtdb lk3 forward stroke system, space forward stroke system run that there should be no errors um, you should have super user access to the phone this will mount the file system as read write once you've mounted the file system as read write you can then uh, remove applications from the system apps directory by running rm space forward stroke system forward stroke app using adb to execute it so you prefix it with a dot forward stroke adb space shell space rm space forward stroke system forward stroke apps forward stroke the application dot apg that you're trying to remove i would recommend that you run uh, copy and copy the application from the system folder to the sd card on your android device just in case you delete something you later realize you actually need once you've copied it and you've removed the application that you wish to remove you can run the following command to remount the uh, file system as read only so you'd run dot forward stroke adb space shell space mount space dash o remount comma ro space forward stroke dev forward stroke mtdb lock 3 space forward stroke system this will remount the file system as read only which it should be uh, you should do this when you finished because it's uh, the android's normal state and stuff may happen if it's left as being read write so run that and once you've done that uh, if you go to your applications menu and have a look through it should be removed if not you can try restarting the phone and uh, the application should no longer be present if the app appears on your phone again uh, the reason for this is some phones come with a bootloader to check that you haven't messed about with the system software so basically when you reboot the phone the phone will check and go oh it hasn't got that application and then it will try and reinstall it for you uh, which is a bit unfortunate but you're um, stuck with them so uh, that is how to remove applications from your android phone like i said i'll put all the commands in the uh, foot of the video and you could also perform the same actions through a terminal emulator but i prefer typing all the commands out on a keyboard you've been watching hackology i hope you've enjoyed this episode and you're able to take something beneficial away from it uh, have fun hacking as always big shouts out to everybody uh, all the irc people uh, everybody on mumble and skype as well you guys rock and uh, big up to all the ops on irc too uh, doing a great job <laughs> and uh, we'll see you soon have fun hacking peace